Hey folks, I'm Cameron Skinner. And for those of you who have not been keeping up with the channel, I am on a quest to make a video game. But before I can do that, I've got to learn a few skills uh, that required to do that, that game. And uh, one of those skills that I've been really working on lately is getting up to speed on Houdini and specifically the rigging capabilities in Houdini. Houdini 20.5 just recently came out and they've uh, announced and uh, shipped a beta version of what they're calling Apex, which is their all-purpose execution framework. And it's focused mainly on rigging, uh, rigging characters, uh, rigging in general. Uh, it's, a, it's a really impressive framework for building rigs and reusing components to do those rigs and giving us the capabilities to actually write these components in a modular fashion such that we can reuse them, we as artists can reuse them uh, at later points in time, saving them to our asset libraries and what have you. I've found it extraordinarily powerful, but I've also found it quite daunting to learn, um, mostly because I believe, you know, it's in beta uh, and the documentation is also beta. And, uh, and so what I've been doing is trying to come up to speed as best I can, uh, reading the documentation, I've been watching videos, I've been, you know, just experimenting like crazy with it. And so what I'm going to do, uh, what I plan on doing is I'm going to cut a couple videos and show kind of lessons learned along the way, some things that uh, I haven't seen out there yet. Uh, and I'm going to put them all into, you know, a playlist here um, and hopefully help help the rest of the community as this burgeoning technology becomes a little bit more, what I believe is gonna become more mainstream, especially once the documentation and debuggability and things of that nature um, actually get out of beta, okay? And so with that, what I'm gonna show you today is basically how I've set up my Houdini environment along with uh, Sublime Text 4, um, coupled with a number of packages, which I'll explain in the, in, the, in the video coming up here in a second. It's basically a way that I've, I think is pretty effective in learning the APIs and spelunking the APIs that are actually in the default installation of Houdini these days. Uh, and uh, from there, I plan on having a couple videos after this one that really go through a step-by-step -step project um, and show you kind of what I've learned along the way. Because uh, Apex, although many of the resources around Apex really show the, the visual networks and, the, um, and all the various graphs that make up a, an Apex network, I've actually been spending a lot more of my time trying to figure out how to drive those graphs through Apex Script, which is a Python-based scripting language that ships with Houdini. So with that, let me show you what I've so far discovered, show you some tips and tricks uh, that have been working for me so far, uh, and let's get into it. All right. So there's a few steps that we're gonna to need to take in order to get Sublime set up that in a way that will enable you to go and spelunk across those Houdini Apex APIs. The first thing that we're gonna to need to do is install a package called LSP. And I'm gonna do that by going in here and using the package control package to install a new package. Uh, and that package is called LSP. Now, when you install that, you'll see an installing package down here in the left-hand corner. Um, basically, this is the glue between the client, in this case Sublime, and the language server that we're about to in install. So you're not quite done yet. You've got to install another package called lsp-pywrite, okay? And this PyWrite server, this is the actual language server, this is the thing that gives you the Python autocomplete and syntax checking that I'm gonna show you here in a second. So install that guy, okay? And now that is done. And you'll know it's done when you go into a, um, a, a file, uh, create a new file, um, make sure that file is set to Python, and you'll see LSP PyWrite installing uh, and that'll only happen once, but you'll see it down here in the lower left-hand corner, okay? And now, once that's done, uh, you're ready to start using it. Now, just FYI, I've seen, because I've practiced this a couple times, I've seen Pyrite take a little time to go and discover the modules that 
um, you know, are in your Python standard directories. But it also, depending on how many extra directories that you add to it, will also take some time, okay? And two of those directories I'm gonna show you now, which are required in order to use the Apex APIs. So let's go add a couple directories um, from your Houdini installation directory. And those two directories, or two paths to those directories, is found in your, whatever version of Houdini you're using. So you go to that guy, then go to Houdini, the Houdini folder, then find a file called python 3.111 libs. That is a path that you want to copy. Come back over to Sublime, go to Preferences, Package Settings, LSP, Servers, LSP Pyrite. If you don't see this menu, this long, long, long menu items here, uh, you, don't, you haven't installed something correctly, okay? Uh, but once you do, you will be able to click on that and it'll go into your settings. And in here, you're going to want to override the python.analysis.extrapaths settings, put it in your user um, LSP Pyrite settings, and paste that directory into here. Now, clearly, I've already done this a couple times, um, but you're going to want to grab that Houdini Python 311s, put that in your settings, and then you're going to also want to grab the the directory to, that is found in your installation directory, packages, Apex, Python 311s. Copy that as well and put that also in here and save. And once you're done, uh, you're ready to go, okay? And so you create a file, make sure it's set to Python, and then you'll know everything's working when you can actually start to type import and you'll get this type of completion. Right. And so here I can actually discover because I've added those Houdini specific uh, directories to uh, my settings, I'm starting to see things like Apex script. Right. So what just to drive this home, I'll say from Apex script import star and I can say graph equals Apex graph handle. Right. These are, you know, Apex script APIs. So, you know, this is super interesting because now I can go and I can look at the directory or look at the documentation as I'm in the editor right here uh, in the editor. And it's a great experience. Um, and you'll see that, you know, whatever APIs you're, you're seeing, you can actually go and understand what that looks like. So dot, you know, if I say I want to add subnet, for instance, you get this great experience. Now, something to um, something important I should also mention here is that Apex script is not exactly Python. It's Python based, but who, the side effects folks have, have, have created, um, you know, a couple extra features to Python. They've added that on top to make it Apex script. And so you'll see some weird things potentially where the, the signature and the documentation don't exactly match. And that's, due to some of the hackery that they're doing here. So just remember, it's not exactly Python, so you may see some of those things. But bottom line is, once you have this situated, uh, going in and discovering the Apex, uh, you know, Apex APIs is a lot more kind of at your fingertips, if you will. Okay, now the other thing that I should also mention is that what you're doing here is you're trying to make Sublime this external editor for Houdini, okay? And, and so what you're going to want is you're going to want to go into Houdini and set up Sublime as your external editor. And you do that by going in here inside Houdini, go to Edit, Preferences, and set external text editor, and then find wherever you've got sub, the Sublime exe. Okay, I've already done it, so I'm not going to go bore you with that one. But once you've done that, you're going to be able to go into uh, Houdini and I'm going to drop an Apex script node and I'm going to right click over the snippet text window and I'm going to go to expressions, edit an external editor. And now what's happened is it's created a, uh, a file that represents whatever text is going to go in there into my temp directory. And here I can do all kinds of things. Um, and drive it directly into, just by saving, drive it into that snippet, okay? So let's just show you why this is super interesting here, is if you open up your Apex network view, which if you don't see this, you can go to this plus sign, new tab type, go down to animation and select Apex network view. That's what this is. And 
just to show, just to drive this home, I'm going to say A equals, I'm going to bind input and, um, you know, I'm going to give it a default here. I'm going to save. So put it in there and immediately you start to see the diagram getting, starting to be driven. And I'm going to bind this output A, okay? And what I'm able to do now is I can go over here to the geometry spreadsheet and I can look at, once I come over here to the um, bindings, I'm going to bind the, the output per parms. And now over here, I see the uh, parameters. So if I come over here and hit this refresh button, you'll see Sally show up here. If I go over here and change this to, you know, Bob, right? This is basically done a, a channel input here. Super cool, right? One thing that's not super cool, however, is all of the, this is where LSP Pyrite is starting to show us its magic. But in our case, because it's inside Houdini, I don't want to have to come up here and say, hey, you know, um, from Apex Scripts uh, import star, okay? And in fact, if I did that, Houdini would start to whine at you because it doesn't want this from. It doesn't want any imports to be happening, okay? So the way that I, the, the, the suggestion here is in order to use Sublime with LSP to discover the APIs, you're going to want to set up a different project um, outside of this template or this temp area. Um, but first, set up a project inside the temp, temp directory so that you can dis disable the LSP. And the way that you do that is go to File, uh, open a folder, okay? Go to percent temp, percent, add that folder, okay? And now save the project by doing a save project as, put it in that folder, name the project, whatever. I'm going to name it Bob. Okay. Yeah. Then you see Bob up here. And now if I go over here, I'm going to close this guy and say, no, if I come over here and say expression, edit in external editor, it'll bring it up right here in that project. Okay. But now I can bring up, uh, my controller here and say disable language server in project LSP select LSP Pyrite and all of that, those annotations go away, but only for this project. This is super interesting because now if I go and say, all right, let's do a file new window, I can create another project somewhere else or just create another Python file here. And LSP will be doing its thing here because it's outside of that, that project. Okay. This is great because now I can come in here and say, all right, great. From Apex script, import star, do the things you saw me doing earlier, which is discovering the Apex API. Okay. All right. Hope that was helpful. Talk to you soon.